Hi, this is Stephanie, the creative girl behind the designs. And today I'm here to talk about the goals planner that I have and still on that Fresh Start March series. And this is the second video in that series. And um, we're gonna get this all kind of squared away today. So as you know, I have a goals planner that um, I decided to work with for the year, for 2024. It is a horizontal planner, and um, I had gone through already and had set up some tabs, and um, I had initially had everything in my Franken planner. So I had taken out a month or two at a time, I'd put it in here, and then I had the bottom tab. So what I am doing now is I've taken the goals pages out of here, put them back into the, the planner itself. I'm going to do a few other things. And um, if it kind of hasn't given you a little bit of a hint, I'm not totally disassembling my Franken planner, but I am taking at the moment the planners out of there. So this is the second one. I will be doing something with this. There'll be more to come on that later. Um, I have a few other things coming in this whole process of fresh start, fresh start March, <laughs> if I can talk. Um, and so let me show you. So what I did was I took out the months. I had, I think, two months in here. I took those out. I put them back in here. I have, you know, kept my separation of the quarters. And then... Um, let me see if I can bring this up. So, and then under each of three quarters, I may have made four. Oh, I got four. I put in a, let's see if I could get there, an envelope. So this starts, okay. So in, at the end of every quarter, I put in an envelope. Um, this is just to capture receipts that I need to enter for my business or, you know, just receipts in general that shouldn't go into the um, population of receipts. I keep an envelope of receipts that I need to keep. And so that's what these are here for. And so I, I've put one in under each quarter. I have my tabs. I put my months back. And today, what I did off camera before coming on was, let me open this up. If you recall, with every planner, you get those annual pages in the front. It's sort of like a perpetual calendar. And it'll, you know, have January, February, March, so on and so forth. Well, I took those pages out and I glued together the back of this page with the um, January dashboard. So I took it and glued it to the January dashboard page. I call it dashboard. It's really your currently page as Happy Planner describes it. And um, because I just didn't see the need for the purpose that I'm using this for to have those pages. So I just kind of debulked it a bit and um, went ahead and took those out. So I did that off camera. Um, and of course, every time I tell you I'm going to do a short video, it never turns out that way. So <laughs> again, I'm going to try and do a short video. Theoretically, this one will be short. This is a quick change. I'm going to move some things over, talk about what, how I'm doing that or what I plan on doing, and then also show you a page I did so that you can see kind of how I'm using this planner. Um, okay, so as you know, in my Franken planner, I had a page or a tab, I should say, labeled goals and word of the year. So what I'm going to be doing is... Because I think I also have in here the liner, the planner lineup um, pages. So I have my word of the year, my inside goal pages and everything. Right now what I'm doing is I'm going to take these out. I'm going to take them out as a whole. And I am going to put them in between my main page and in between where those two calendars are. I'm just gonna pop these in. Now, These, this is something that I could absolutely put into my work planner, but because I'm, I'm really 
kind of full on that planner like I don't really have a whole lot of room left I don't know that it would really work so I'm just going to put them in here because as a whole for the most part I need to be picking this up every day at the end of every day and writing in it so I don't plan on um doing anything further with this again it's it's purely or literally a journal I'm using it to write in. I'm writing about the things I did that day, the things I accomplished. Some of them may be direct goals that I had written down. Other things are kind of to-do goals. And um, I just recently started a project where, not on my goals list, but it was on my it needed to be done list, which was on the blog, I took all of the free planner printables and I put them under the uh it's called like the member library but it's really a resource library and that's where all my free printables are housed and that was a task there were a lot of them I had to transfer then I had to update some posts and so forth so that was a big big project it took me I want to say like three days <laughs> so uh, that one was quite involved. Again, not on my goals, but I did write about that. That's coming. Okay, so now in my goals planner, um, we of course have our, um, our quarterly goals. I was thinking how I was going to do this. <laughs> so there's the quarterly, I have them separated by quarterly goals. And as you know, let me pull this back over because I'm going to put this in this book. Um, I have the, this quarterly um, goals tracker sheet of sorts. Um, I set this up and I may need to modify it. I will try and complete it for quarter one once, you know, we've gotten past that. But as I am making this fresh start and changing some things, um, you know, some things aren't going to apply anymore. So I may be changing this up. That's forthcoming. Where I plan to put this in this planner is, my thought was to put it here. So before, so it's kind of after the um, April tab or currently page. So it's going to be here for now, but I can move it further into the month or the quarter as it, you know, we get closer. Um, I may find that I want to put it maybe just after the quarter tab once I'm finished with it. More to come again. I'll see how it works at first. I had this idea. Um, I stacked each of the boxes th for a different color just so I can tell the difference and I basically labeled out my goals headers so although most of these can be combined under four categories I decided to kind of keep them separate as best as possible um, and what I'll do is I'll go in and I'll write in the goals that I had intended to complete in quarter one and then I'll go through each of um, these columns here, you know, make a mark, the mark indicates it was done. If I, if, you know, I worked on it, finished it kind of thing. And then notes. So again, this is likely going to change. Um, but until I actually use it, I don't know quite how I would change it just yet. So more to come on that as well. Um, <clears throat> so let's see, let me go to so let's see, we just entered March. That's how crazy it is. All right, let me flip this around. Okay, so this page is one of the pages I've done in the book. And this is, this is just to kind of give you the vibe of what I'm doing. So um, I decorated this page for February. The, the right side page is really March. So what I did was I just did that in a different look. I kind of kept it as a different look. So what I intend to do and what I've been kind of doing 
is um, it's not always going to be pretty. I'm happy to show you this because it's a pretty page. <laughs> it turned out well. And so what I'm doing is basically uh, just kind of logging in the things I did for that time frame that day. Um, and if, you know, you kind of catch it, like the bulk of that printables project that I was working on really took up the bulk of these three days. And it kind of filtered a little bit into Thursday as well. I do have some things covered because those have not um, come out yet and I don't want to announce them before I've actually put them out. And um, so it's just a matter of, you know, I'll throw in some stickers. I'm intending on writing in each day I will use filler stickers, you know, when, wherever I can along the theme. Um, I'm thinking I will decorate these online or, you know, on, on YouTube, just like I do my, my other planners. So um, just some minor decorations and that will kind of just kind of kickstart writing. So at the end of the day, you know, I come in here, I can write it out. Um, this, you know, after this project ended, <laughs> it got me set on my planners in my office. And what I did was, I, again, I couldn't explain it exactly, but what I did was I had this thing. I wanted to go through and pull all my butterfly planners that Happy Planner made. As you know, I had done, um, I have an entire Ikea shelf and then one of the cubicles are all my purple planners. So I just got on this thing, you know, I needed to find all these uh, butterfly planners. And I do have three of them, um, Papillon, Butterflies and Blooms, and now this is Butterfly Bliss. So um, no rhyme or reason there, I'm just kind of sharing that. So goals planner. Um, I'm moving it out of the Franken planner. I eliminated the annual pages and I added my goals packet or word of the year and goals packet into here along with the, um, quarter review, which I will use, but that I foresee that changing and that will be, you know, quarter two will be a different story. Um, and then I shared one of the pages I did with you. So it's a simple setup. It's not meant to be complicated. Um, it's not something I'll always um, be able to share like the details or the pages of simply because I am writing about things either that I need to do or that I need to get done. And until they're done, especially if there's something I'm sharing with subscribers or YouTube followers or, um, you know, Instagram followers, I don't want to announce it before I've actually put it out. So on that note, let me, um, let me kind of give you just an overview of where I'm thinking with my Franken planner. So we've talked about the work planner, which was um, the last video where I pulled again all the months out. I created a just from my stash an archive planner to hold the extension months that you know because again the Girl with Goals extension pack didn't doesn't have a cover and discs, so all I did was created an archive planner to hold those. And um, I'm working off of, as my go-to everyday planner, the planner in the white cover, which is the Live Love Posh cover. And so the work planner has been done. I've kind of given you an overview of my goals planner. Um, my memory a day, there isn't much to um, talk about there. Other than I did mention it in my work planner I am pulling out the weeks and I'm taking it back down to just the month, a memory day in my creative journal for the month page. And then I'll insert specialty pages as those things come up. So um, I will be doing a page on that 
so I will bring that in and kind of talk about that again. Um, and then we have, of course, let's see what's left. We have my mini um, health planner, right? That's all of them. So we had work, creative journal, mini goals and health. So I have mini and health left to review, kind of just go through. I did sort of a mini refresh for Fresh Start March, but I'm going to further kind of pare that down. So more to come on that. And then there's health. And then as I said before, I do have, let me bring that out again. I do have the um, bullet journal book from Happy Planner that I will be utilizing. And so that is going to be put into my lineup and more will come on this soon. Um, and then I think that's kind of it. I think I say that because, you know, I change as I need to. <laughs> so there's that planner. Let's kind of tuck this off up to the side here. There we go. Let me bring this over. I'm just going to talk briefly about this. Um, as you know, and now that I'm thinking of it, let me pull out. Not that it's necessary per se, but um, I was going to pull this tab over into this, but then it's going to get in the way of the quarter. So I am going to leave this in here for now, but let me close this back up. Now the bulk of what I had in here was papers and planners. Now for the planner section, you can tell it's empty. I have taken all the planners that were in here and I pulled them back into their own covers or created the archive planner for the Girl With Goals. Uh, there's a reason and there is, this is going somewhere. So uh, this is now mainly, let's take a peek. I have future plans in here. Um, I do have future plans in here. And then I have, let's see, goals. These are the, okay, so yes, the annual, these were the pages I took out of here. Not exactly those pages, but this was the calendar I was talking about that I removed from my goals planner. I don't see the need to keep it there. I was going to write in there yes or no if I had done, you know, a goal, worked on a goal for that day, but um, I realized I wasn't keeping up with it, so it just needed to go. So what I did was, um, I still have this in here. This future plans will need to move over to my work planner because when I look at the things that I need to, you know, do in the future, I need one location to be able to get to. So that this is going to move over. And let's see, can I do that now? I know this is my planner for... Um, Butterfly Bliss, my goals, but let's see if I could do that. I feel like I'm kind of mixing my planners, but you know, that's what happens. Um, so what are we taking out then? We have, yes, I will need the tab. And I think, so this cover, and as you already know, if you follow me, this name page belonged in a planner that I thought for sure I was going to use and it just wasn't working for me in 2024. So I, I kind of have let it slide off. I Any planner I'm not using, I am holding on to because I intend to shop my stash and use anything I can from my stash as it comes up. So um, what I'm going to do is pull over just quickly my work planner. And... Let me just kind of tuck that up there and let me just make sure I have everything out of it that um, needs to be. <laughs> okay, so let me just pop these in here. I think I have enough room left. 
Like it's getting pretty full. I am going to need to archive some of the tabs that are done. So let me pull oh, from over this planner here. Let me pull this over. Like when I open this, I like seeing that. So I may put something in here. I don't know. It's kind of a double-edged sword for me. I mean, I want to have them in there, but then, um, meaning I want to have these in here, but then I see the purple and it goes with the purple. So again, I don't know what I'll do about that. <laughs> okay, so this is, I'm looking for my, okay, I see what I did now. Okay. So what I had done, I had used the noise you're hearing if you hear it. <laughs> My cat is going bonkers. I don't know why. <laughs> it's spring. We're having two amazing days of 70 degree weather. And uh, she's just going crazy. <laughs> Anyhow, <laughs> there's all this clunking around down there. Okay, back to this. This planner was, um, I think it was called Fresh Fields. And I had pulled out of there the annual pages because I was making that my future plans um, go to. So unfortunately, I do need to keep this cover in here because it has the backside of some information that I need. So um, I just have to remember this belongs there. So for now, I'll leave it as it is. Um, let's see what else can I pull in here since I've got your attention <laughs> so to speak um, this here I think I want to put this here because I don't want unfortunately it's then messing up my oop here it is I know I was missing something um, and then it's messing that up so maybe what I'll do is let's see our tabs up there um i think for now i'm just gonna put this here it is getting full i do need to archive a few things from it and i will do that but um i needed to get those things over there because i'm going to finish talking about the franken planner just briefly and then this video will be done i kid you not it will be a fast one for once okay so basically what is left, the goals is gone, the planners are gone. Um, and, and as you can tell, I'm kind of really down in the, the stack there. So this is going to be probably re-housed. Um, I am going to pull out a um, smaller set of discs. I am going to basically keep this. Let me just close this. I'm going to take these out so we can get a better view. Let me close this. At the moment, this is the information in here. Let's see if I can get that in there. That might be good. So I have my content ideas, the shop, uh, finance, reference, and notes. So I'm thinking that what I plan on doing is putting this into smaller discs, so classic size discs, and a different cover. And this will essentially become my um, reference uh, planner, or it's not a planner, it'll be my reference notebook. It will, you know, because when I think about, so all this information that's left in here is related to work, but there isn't enough room in my work planner. And for the most part, if I go out and I grab my planner to go, I don't need all this information here because I'm not needing to access that information. So I can keep this separate and um, I intend to do that. So what I will do is I will be rehousing this. I will bring this back out on the next series video that comes out for Fresh Start March. And um, I'll show you how I did it and what I did with it, how I organized it, that type of thing. I will be shopping my stash to do that, to rehouse the information in here. Um, <clears throat> if the blog, or if the blog, listen to me, I got blog on the brain. 
If the tabs happen to change, I will also do that in that video. So I have mostly the goals planner. I wanted to show you what I was doing, show you a um, page that I had done, how I'm using it. And that's kind of where I'm going with it for so far. There's some big stuff coming, some sort of big changes. Um, and I'm going to show you kind of what I did to start fresh in March moving forward. So thank you so much for joining me today. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and consider subscribing and turning on that bell notification. Any supplies that I have that I can link in the video will be linked in the description box below. And I hope you have a wonderful day as you create a beautiful life. Thank you for watching.